Welcome ladies and gentlemen and congratulations to make it to the end of the course for solving and graphing absolute value inequalities. What I'd like to do is just kind of go through a, uh, a brief little overview of the process for solving absolute value inequalities as well as graphing them and as well as highlight kind of some tips and tricks and common mistakes that uh, you will run into or and I want to run into while working through the course as well as what I'd like you to take from it. So again the process for solving absolute value inequality is basically we want to make sure we first isolate the absolute value inequality. All right, get the ab or get the absolute value um, isolated, get it by itself. Then we want to make sure we identify what type of compound inequality we, we are going to use because we're going to need to create our two cases. And when we create our two cases, we create a compound inequality. And that's important because that's going to help us when we're graphing them. We need to know the difference of what kind of inequality do we have. Make sure when you're creating your two cases, you have to negate on one of those cases. Make sure you flip the sign of the inequality symbol when you're doing that. Then you just go ahead and solve each case of the inequality separately and then go ahead and graph them separately and then put those two graphs together to make your final uh, solution graph. So as far as some tips and tricks, um, I was trying to think of some things that um, really I think would stand apart but you know, really mostly is a lot of this is pretty basic. Um, I know that some students have trouble isolating the absolute value equation, absolute value symbol. So a lot of times I just say, you know, replace that with x. If you have you know, four times the absolute value of 2x minus, 2x minus 1, absolute value plus 1 is greater than 5. Rewrite that with a variable. All right, just say 4 and then solve for it because we need to get that absolute value of 2x minus 1 isolated. Just remember once you solve for x, that x equals the absolute value of 2x minus 1. So you got to plug that in so you can create your two cases. Um, the next thing is just write down the type of inequality. As I get into my common mistakes, a lot of students will forget um, or just uh, plain get it wrong when they write in that inequality. So once you determine what type of compound inequality you're dealing with, write it down. Especially when you have your two cases, is one inequality and the other inequality. One inequality or the other inequality. So what are your solutions? Are they, is it an and or is it an or? Um, looking into common mistakes, again, that kind of just goes with my tips because uh, common mistakes are solving without your absolute value isolated. I see students trying to set your two cases when your absolute value, when your inequality looks like this. You've got to isolate the absolute value, um, absolute value symbol before uh, setting up your two cases and then also using the wrong compound inequality. They will um, graph a solution for an or when it's only supposed to be an and in compound inequality and vice versa. So make sure you guys get that straight. Um, but otherwise, congratulations on making this far. I hope you learned something and I look forward to uh, seeing you again. Thanks.